G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. We're on the way to Blackwood. Let's go have a look. So we made it to the Blackwood Shelter. A bit of a bugger to get to this one. A bit uneven, up and down, walking across hills. But the views, have a look. And views are just amazing. Isn't that just beautiful? Now let's show you Blackwood Shelter and what we've got here, shall we? So here's your Blackwood Shelter. It's a wooden shelter. Nice big bench underneath the shelter there, underneath the shade. And I believe this plastic car gate is to help stop the wind coming in. Now we're going to have a guess here. What have we got? Uh, no, it didn't say happy here, but we've got your bunks here. The bunk is big enough for two comfortable top and two bottom. And we've got the same over there, the same size. If you're family, I'm sure you could squeeze three on the top. But they've put one of these boards in all the way across the bottom now. So you're looking, you're going to have your two underneath each bunk, probably four comfortable in between, probably five at a squeeze or more. You've got hooks running along the top beam there, so you can hang your packs. You got your broom and your rake, so you can sweep down the boards, get any dirt or stones off. Uh, a little hand brush over there. So please remember to clean up before you leave after yourself. The dunny. I'll say it again if you haven't seen one of my videos before and or you don't know what a dunny is. A dunny is your outdoor toilet. It's a drop toilet, non-flushing. And it's a composting one. So please only drop the toilet tissue down there when you've wiped your, 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 your bits, put it that way politely. Please don't drop any the wet wipes, baby wipes because that will destroy the composting and you end up with the drop toilet stinking and flies and everything in there and ladies if it's that time of the month you unfortunately have to carry that out with you too you can't drop them in here and there's your drop toilet now I've got some nice people who've left toilet roll behind for you now not every single dunny or toilet on the Bilmon track has toilet you're meant to carry your own, but you'll probably find this is some of the track volunteers or track angels or other hikers have had it spare before they finish their hike, so they've left it in there for others to use, which is very kind of them. Now let's go and see if there's any tent pitches. And when I say a tent pitch or a size, whether it's for one tent, I'm using a average two-person hiking tent as a size guide. You can see where they've driven down here and they've come to do some work. Let's, let's walk through the other side see if there's any pictures for tents. Blackwood Shelter is a non-fire any time of the year. No fires are allowed here. So if you're going to be coming in, you're going to have to use your little uh, gas stoves. Now we've just come in that side, which is south to uh, north to south, and going back this out this way, which will be south. That's where I'll go out tomorrow. There's no signs for tent pitches, so we'll just have to have a little explore. Yo. 
here we go. It's an area fairly flat. You can probably squeeze three, two, three, yeah, three tents on there. A few stones, a bit of bark. But all in all, pretty good. What's up here? Another flat area. Let's not go through the wildflowers. Let's go around. Aren't they beautiful? Still more to open up over the next day or two. Yeah, here's another half decent area. Could fit comfortable two tents on there. Visualising you might be able to squeeze three just in this area, first area. And then come to this bit. I think really there's only one tent would fit on the flat bit there. So yeah, so we've got over there, we've got here. What have we got up here? Let's have a look. That's where I said the trucks could come down. I suppose you could put two or three tents there as long as it's not being used by a truck when it comes to do any repairs on the shelter. Any vehicles with wheels on are not allowed, even cycles or trolleys on the, most of the Bibbulmun track. So there'll only be vehicles that have had permission to come down here. Oh, here we go, there's another one up here. Nice, oh, big enough for about three tents on there comfortably. Squeeze the fourth one on the very end you could. Pretty level. Yeah, oh, I'd bring the ground sheets because the stones are a little bit sharp. But yeah, I'd make sure you bring a footprint or ground sheet to protect the bottom of your tent or the bottom of your bivy. Just carry on walking up. Oh, this one there you could use by the the dunny. Probably fit one comfortable there on a the flat, because most of it's uneven. Carry on looking. What have we got up here? Have we got anything? Yep, this one's overgrown a bit. It's big enough again for one, two, three, four, maybe even five tents. So if you're a group, like a scout group or a school group, you could fit a decent amount of tents there. So most are together. And then this is just the track, the track in or the road in. Yeah, not too bad, I suppose. Look at the views from here. Fantastic, or what? Love it. That's it, it's a bugger to get up here. And tomorrow, heading south, I'm going to go down Cardiac Hill. So that's something to look forward to. A bit of an update before you go back to me up the top of the hill after looking at the tent pitches. One water tank, they're rain water tanks, so please be sparing because other people are going to need it and the warmer it gets the more people are going to need water and it could save their life and enable them to get to the next shelter or to a pickup point. Just use what you actually need, don't waste any, be sparing. Now, let's go back to me up there. I hope that's given you an idea of what's here at the shelter and what you think you're going to need to carry. Can't give you a list of what you should carry because every one of us are different with what we use. But if you're going to use a tent or a bivy, I would recommend bringing a ground sheet or your footprint for it to protect the bottom, to allow your tent to last longer and keep it in good condition, you don't want that failing. So if you've enjoyed the video and you're not already a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. 
click on the notification bell next to that and select all so you can be notified of all future videos and click the thumbs up button the like button and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care